Monkeys up guys, welcome back to the channel, Everyday Carry for the Everyday Guy, Olight's new Balder Pro R. So I got early access to this sucker. I want to fully disclose that I've only put between three to 400 rounds through my firearm with the Balder Pro R attached. People are already asking me for my opinion on the Balder Pro R. So those of you who know Olight, you'll remember they started off with, which one is it? With their Balder Red Laser. Looks like a looks like a like a cartoon style submarine, right? Then they brought in the Balder Pro, and now they've got the Balder Pro R, which is their full size weapon mounted light with integrated laser, but it's rechargeable, which is quite cool. I personally think rechargeable is is the way of the future. There's only so much you can extract from two C or one two three A batteries, and um, you can do much more with uh, rechargeable lithium ion batteries um, so this light is an amalgamation of of these two lights plus olight's pl pro and a little bit of evolution i will be honest i like the look of it okay i, I think olight are finally getting it into the head that things that look cool often sell better it's got like a, a angled front bevel type situation it looks cool on the gun i will also tell you this is a meaty sucker right the olight Balder Pro R is not a light uh, tool. You, when you pick this up, it feels it feels dense, like like lead. Olight say that it is drop safe up to one meter. Although check this out. So that's eight shoulder I dropped this with an airsoft pistol attached. Guys, I'm not going to drop my actual firearm. I don't care what any of you say. It is what it is. But it's still, eight shoulder I dropped this with an airsoft pistol onto... Um, I tried to purpose it to land on the front of the, the, the light itself. That was post zeroing, right? And here is my first five and last five shots. So the OLED Balder Pro R held zero, even with dropping it, and I zeroed it to my red dot, right? I didn't even zero it at the range. I just zeroed it to my red dot, and um, that was that. So the way to zero, and I think, I think, yeah, let's just talk about, yeah, let's first do stats, and then we can talk about how you zero it and that sort of thing. So you get two modes, you get high of 1350 lumens and low of 300 lumens and you actuate them by a double tap, it'll cycle between the two. Okay, um, and then you also get momentary on by pressing and holding the button. The buttons are ambidextrous, so you get the exact same thing on the left hand side that you get on the right hand side. Um, 1350 lumen mode is going to last for 1.5 minutes, dimming down to 500 lumens for around 40 minutes. 300 lumen mode is going to last for 93 minutes, and that shouldn't, and according to Olight, doesn't dim. Um, with the laser on, 300 lumen mode is going to last for 85 minutes, and with the laser on, 1350 lumen mode is going to last for 1.5 minutes, dimming to 500 lumens for like 30 something minutes. You can run the light with just the laser like so and you will have that for an estimated 19 hours so as you can see the laser is integrated into the um, bezel of the or into the reflector shall I say of the flashlight and I think that's cool and I think it's a really cool way to go um, because this I don't I don't even think people made asses for this because it's just it's just a schlep and Olight have started sort of realizing there's no point in producing a light if you can't get a holster for it. I can tell you in South Africa, Southwest holsters have a holster for it. I should be receiving it. I should be receiving the first ever one. 
um, on Monday or Tuesday, depending on what or when you watch this video. And then I'll show it to you guys. I'm going to do like a, a I'm going to do two Black Friday videos and I'll show it in hopefully both. Now, just for the sake of thoroughness, let's talk about what you get in the box. You get um, obviously your, your Olight Balder Pro R. Uh, you get your magnetic recharger. So this charging um, cable will fully charge the Balder Pro R from dead to full in 1.5 hours. I actually did test that and that is the truth. You also get a um, set of really, really tiny screws. I don't, I don't know what they are called um, and a different rail attachment. And then you get your instruction manual, which you don't need off this video. And you get an Allen wrench, which is freaking outside of shot. Give me one second. You get an Allen wrench, which you would use to adjust for range and windage at the bottom right there. Uh, can you see that there's a small hole? That's what you would use to adjust for windage. And then on the side right there is another small hole, which you would use to adjust for your elevation. Guys, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this firearm is empty and safe, and so is the mag. So don't stress about that. Okay, as I said, adjusting it is super easy. There's no tactile click when you turn the, um, the screws, but you can literally just hold it up and you can see that laser moving left and right. It's quite sensitive as well. And as I said, it held zero after eight drop tests. Let's have a look at some low light shots, as you can see. Um, the OLED has a cool white light. It has 10,000 candela with a max beam distance of 200 meters and it does produce a really nice wide flood and also a very discernible hot spot, which I really like. I can also tell you that even when aiming on a white target, you can still see the green laser and you can also, if you're running a Hollis and red dot, still see your red dot even with the light on, which is very, very important. I don't see why anybody would have this in laser only mode or light only mode. My choice of mode would be the laser and light mode, which you obviously can't see. The way you adjust the modes is you'll see over here, there is a knurled section with um, different icons. You literally rotate this left and right to adjust whichever mode you want it in so that's pretty cool it means the light is more sleek now with the activation i want to show you guys this um, and i'm hoping you can see it there's a little bit of give in the switch and this is on both sides before the light goes on right i really appreciate that and i don't know if i like did it on purpose i'm going to give them credit because it means that when you switch the light on it's very tactile and those of you who follow me will know I'm coming from my Streamlight TLR 7A review and my Olight, <coughs> excuse me, Balder S review where I had to deal with little, little tiny switches and I pointed that out in both reviews. So having this big, meaty, tactile switch was an absolute pleasure. I run a ton of one reload, one drills when I'm testing a weapon mounted light because not only is it good for my practice, but it's also good for manipulation. I am drawing the fire, I'm activating that, putting it off, or doing a reload, activating that, putting it off again. So I'm getting a lot of reps in. And I can tell you the absolute pleasure of going from tiny switches on compact lights to full size switches um, was, a, was a dream for me. And what's, what is also quite cool is I could activate the light with my um, trigger finger coming out of the holster. I could activate the light with my thumb of my support hand. I could activate the light with my index finger of my support hand. Or I could even activate the light with the sort of palm area um, of my support hand as well. And I think that's cool, right? The way, they've, the way they've set it up is you can pretty much do with this light how or activate it however you want to activate it. And now whatever the situation demands, which I appreciate, it's not a simple, or it's not, you're not tied down to pressing down or pressing up or pressing forward or pressing in. Um, the pressure pad really is a pressure pad, right? 
there's a bit of play to avoid negligence or a negligent discharge of the light, but there's a definite um, stiffening or wall, shall I say, before there's the click. So I think that's cool. And the momentary on versus constant on is very, uh, what's the word? It's very intuitive. Like you, you can purpose momentary on and you can purpose constant on as well. Also, if you are that way inclined, pressing both buttons gives you a strobe mode. And I like that OLED continue to innovate. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, it's an OLED, it's China. Guys, I just want to put two things out there. One is I review every item of gear in isolation. If OLED made 10 lights and nine of them were terrible and the 10th one was magnificent, I would review each one in isolation. If China or if manufacturers in China was to, were to one day release a list of companies they make consumer electronics for around the world, a lot of tactical guys would go crazy because 99.9% .9 of your consumer electronics comes out of China. China can make cheap things and China can make quality things. Olight with their weapon mounted lights and their tactical lights are trying to break into a market dominated by giants like Surefire, Streamlight, etc. And they're trying to do it in a really short space of time. So they're going to be producing a lot of things uh, in a short space of time until they get the formula right. Your first products are never really as good as they can be because you're learning. So at, at 300 to 400 rounds, I will be honest, I'm quite impressed with the Olight Boulder Pro R. I, I don't really have that much negative things to say with it. I do like the form factor. I will run this as an EDC. A lot of guys think it's too big. That's fine. That's your personal opinion. I like full-size lights simply because they're easy to manipulate. They're easy to put on and off. And I like that you get a lot of um, a lot of intensity. You get a lot of candela, you get a lot of lumen, you get a lot of data. And you get a lot of disorientating ability, especially from a light that produces a cool white light. Guys, just one thing when you do buy this light, it comes in lockout mode. So don't freak out when you get the light and you press the button and it just like goes on and off. The light laser is growing on me. Like I'm beginning to see that, that this isn't a bad thing. Also, the quick release or QD, uh, quick detach clip. Excellent for guys who run these kinds of things on their bedside lights. I know a lot of guys whose daily will be this, just the base firearm. And when they get home at night, they'll put a weapon mounted light on their firearm for like the nightstand gun type deal. So that is definitely something that uh, makes life a lot easier. Guys, I will be doing another video in the week. Um, talking about uh, Black Friday deals. I'm going to do two Black Friday videos. One, just with Olight stuff because Olight has a ridiculous amount of Black Friday sales and two, um, with everybody else's stuff because everybody else's stuff makes up about the same as Black Friday's, Olight, Olight's Black Friday stuff. I hope you enjoyed this review slash preview. Please remember it's only 300 to 400 rounds. So bear that in mind. Things may change, but I will be honest, this light looks like a decent piece of kit. That's it, guys. I'll see you in the week for some Black Friday deals. Have a good week. Be safe. Train hard. Cheers. God bless.